type. Are you more boisterous or quiet? More loving or respectful? More out there or more introspective? King David says in Tehillim, in Psalms, how abundant is your goodness with which you have hidden for those that fear you, which you have wrought for those who trust in you before man. So the first part of the verse is telling us about a reward of that's hidden away. And in conclusion, it says that it's going to be cited before an individual. Hmm. So, says the al Rebbe in the 13th letter, there are two types of divine service and how we serve God with Torah in mitzvahs, two distinct kinds and levels. There's the right side, there is the left side, and of course, many gradations of it. So there are those who are, their souls are rooted on the left side of the divine. And their characteristic is, as the left is gavura, strength, it is contraction, concealment in your divine service. So how's that characterized? What does that mean? Well, it means they walk covertly with God in doing their mitzvahs. In prayer, in secret places, weeps my soul, as the verse says in Jeremiah. And when it comes to engage in Torah study, it's done secretly. So we have prayer that it's done in a manner of weeping. Mitzvahs is done modestly, quietly, or mo you know, modestly, covertly. And Torah study also done in a quiet, secretive way. And this is because of the attribute of Gvura, that's the left side, which Gvura means strength, it means contraction, it means holding back, it has a limitation to it. So, for example, when you give charity, you would do it in a limited fashion. In other words, not more than a fifth, supposed to minimum 10% of your net income, maximum, Jewish law tells us, to give 20% a fifth. Likewise, when it comes to Torah study, you do everything as the Code of Jewish Law tells us. You're very precise in everything that you do. Uh, in Yiddish, it's called Uiski Cheshbent. Very thought out. Every minute has its function, has its purpose. On every hour on the hour, you've got your orderly everything set up in a manner that um, you're following exactly what the command of the Almighty is. When you're dealing with others as a teacher, as the sages say, you would cast awe upon the pupils. That's the first path. The second path is on the right side. By contrast, its characteristic is, as the right side is chesed, giving expansively, without limitation. That's how the service of God is done. So, as the verse says in Tehillim, that you walk expansively with God, not covertly. Right? Doing, in other words, doing a mitzvah in an expansive way, without any contraction, not holding back, a broad sweep of doing the mitzvah. Likewise, when it comes to uh, the spirit of generosity in giving charity and studying Torah and other commandments, there's no restraint. No bars holding you back. You're not satisfied merely just to do 
the mere obligation, but you extend yourself enough. It's never say never you never say enough. There's always room for more. So these are the two types of basic personalities that result from where your soul comes from the divine order of things. The right side, out there, expansive. The left side, in there, introspective. Everything is uh, meted out in precision. And that's the end of today's teachings. In the middle of a thought, well, we have the two basic ideas, but we will see what that means and where we take that. Right? Which one is the better one? Which one is the right one? So, of course, the answer is they're both right. And what's better? Hmm. That we'll have to wait and see. Tomorrow we'll get the idea of, of what's better. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Any comments? Any thoughts? All right, we're going to go straight to Rambam. All right, folks, we're going to continue this conversation. Understanding personality types. Understand who your personality is and what that means. Don't be taken by the The, 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 um, what the world and what marketing would want to get you to think, to be out there, you know, to be dominating, to be boisterous, loving, that that's the only way to go. No. Both have, both are true, but what's better? Hmm. I'm Rabbi Ronnie Fine, coming to you for Chabad Zeruch and Gideshim, Montreal, Canada. It's a privilege and pleasure to share with you the Tanya. More on this to come. Come and join us for the modern these teachings, Rambam, on Zoom or on Facebook, Chabad ZK. Have an amazing, wonderful day.